Hey everyone, it's Cheyenne. So there was just there's some stuff that I wanted to talk about because I meant to um I meant to go to bed like a couple hours ago. I didn't stay on the internet, you know. But um so I got a comment on one of my oldest videos by someone who who's been watching my channel for a while. But um. It was a What's Beautiful cover. That's that's not the point, though. So, that was my first cover on here. And I went back and I watched the video because I was going to go and comment back to the person and stuff. Because that's what I do. That's how I do. But, um, I watched the video. And, you know, when I always talked about it, which I did talk about it a bit sometimes, but when I talked about it, I had always thought that it, that was the song that I'd meant to sing at the time. And that's what I'd chosen before I started the video. But when I went and watched it, that's not the case. I hadn't decided what song I was going to sing. And as I was making the video, I decided it right there. And then I decided to go from that video to one of my other videos. And then to the reason I said that I started the channel which was a cutting for Justin crap video and it was just you know I always talked about it like it was just me talking about you know people who were cutting themselves because Justin was Justin Bieber was smoking weed which don't get me wrong I still think that's rather ridiculous now I thought it was stupid back then I still think it's pretty ridiculous just saying if someone wants to do something let them do it if you're really a fan that's what they want. You should just be happy for them. Even though it might hurt them. Yes, yes, I know. People say weed is not dangerous for you. It's just as dangerous as cigarettes are. The smoke. It's still pretty dangerous. No, it might not be as dangerous as tobacco. But the smoke is still pretty dangerous. I should know. I'm asthmatic. That still bothers my, my lungs. But that's not the case. It's not what I'm here to talk about. So that video was not just that. It was a couple other things too. And watching that video caused me to want to watch quite a few of my other old videos. Let's just start by saying I knew I was different than I was back then. But I didn't think I was that different. How do I explain this? I was pretty petty back then. And I held things against people that I really shouldn't have held against them. Uh, like, let's start with the fact that that video was made a couple of days after my best friend of the time, who I am friends with now, but we are not as close as we were, for reasons that doesn't matter, taken care of, that's the past, this is now. But, um, so she had just moved away, and I was getting over that, because, you know, it was my best friend, and... She had switched schools, and I didn't get out much, so I wouldn't be able to hang out with her. And I didn't have a phone, so what I had to use was an app on my iPod. I know, poor me. I had to use an app on my iPod. Oh, how, how will I ever live? Literally, that is how I was acting. Just saying. So there was this person who I was also friends with and blah, 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 blah who said something, they commented on it, and I didn't like their comment. So, here, here's how, here's what I said. I said, so, I just, I had to walk away. Because if she had said anything else, if it had continued, I would have punched her. Like, right in the face. And I even told one of my friends that if she had said something else, because she said something about this friend before, I would have socked her, like, in the face. That is literally pretty much what I said right in that video and I 
didn't remember saying that. And I don't know who I was back then. I literally went back and commented on the video, who was I? Because that is not who I am now. <laughs> Let's just start off by saying I wouldn't have punched her. One, I don't like hurting people. Two, back then I was really terrible with conflict. Like, really terrible. And I've never been in a fight, so I probably wouldn't have punched her. And even if I had, wouldn't have really done anything. Because, like I said, I've never been in a fight. So, yeah. <laughs> but, wow. <sighs> no. <laughs> Not who I am now. And then the other thing that I talked about was my relationships. Like, who I'd liked and who liked me and how many times I'd gotten asked out when I was a kid. So, I talked about... Ugh, flipping my hair. It's because it keeps getting in my face. But anyways, so I talked about how when I was younger, from like 7th grade back, I only got asked out like once every year, maybe. That's fine. That's fine. But to me, apparently back then, it was a big deal. Like, oh my gosh, wait, people don't want me. They only ask me out once every year. And then that year, I'd gotten asked out like five times. And that was a big deal to me. Like, oh my gosh, I've been asked out five times. And of course, I've said this before. I definitely get noticed a lot more than I did back then. And it's, it's different to me. Even now, it's different to me just because I was treated a lot differently back then. But this is when it had just started happening. It was, oh my gosh, it's in the now, and yeah. And there was this guy who, like, asked me if I was single, and I said, yeah, why does it matter? That is what I said in that video. Just gonna continue. So then I talked about how, oh yes, I decided I was going to be single for a year because I don't want to hurt anyone and I don't want to get hurt. Honestly, I wasn't afraid of getting hurt. Okay, maybe I was back then. I don't know. Maybe I was afraid of getting hurt. Now, I'm not... I, I don't... I honestly think that if I were to fall in love, the pain would be worth... The pain would be worth it. From what I've seen of love. I'm just saying. But I don't want to waste someone's time in a relationship if I don't have any feelings for them. Anyways. Back then, was, yeah, I don't want to get hurt and I don't want to hurt anyone. Because I just broke up with this guy and he was really nice. But I just, I didn't like it like that. And oh my goodness. Okay, maybe this is not exactly how I sounded, but this is how I'm interpreting myself. What? <laughs> and so then I went on to talk about my crush of the time, and I was like, yeah, and I said that I wasn't going to date for a year, but then I just had to go and get a crush on this guy. And he knows that I like him because I told him over Facebook of all places, and I, he probably doesn't. And then I left off a sentence because that's who I was, I guess. I mean, that's who I am, honestly, but... <laughs> so, I go on to talk about this guy, and I know who ex exactly who I'm talking about in this video as soon as I start talking about him, because there was only... Well, there were two guys that I had a crush on my sophomore year of high school. One of them was an ex, who it, it didn't turn out well, and I got over him, and I was happy I did, and I'm still happy I did, because... That's the past. And let's just leave it in the past. But, the guy that I had a crush on back then, I'm sitting there talking about him, I'm like, I told him over Facebook, and I know he doesn't like me back, because I, ju I just know, how could he like me back? Because every time I like someone, I lose a friend, and, I mean, that was a pretty common occurrence back then for some reason. Uh, whenever I did start to like someone, honestly, since fourth grade, I did lose a friend for some reason. Fourth grade, I lost the guy that I liked as a friend. 
And then in fifth grade, I lost my best friend of the time in fifth grade as a friend. Uh, that's a whole different thing, and that wasn't based on the guy. Actually, that was based on my personality clashing with her personality and my religion clashing with her religion. And it just didn't turn out well. But I blamed it on the guy. Of course. Always got to blame it on the guy, right? No. Don't. No. Stop it. No. No. But, um, so I go on to talk about all that, and then I, I just continue on, and I'm like, and I know that what they say about assuming, and that I shouldn't assume that he doesn't like me, but he just, he just couldn't like me like that. And then I say his name, and I'm like, oh, the, the guy. And so, let me explain something about this guy. I'm still friends with him, I'm pretty sure. We haven't talked in a very, very long time. But, he actually, according to him did like me a little bit, at least a little bit more than I thought he had. And, you know, we, we talked about that stuff and we talked about, I mean, we talked about quite a bit and we actually became pretty good friends for at least a moment in time. At least in my head, we were pretty good friends. And I still think of him as a friend, definitely, but, um, we just haven't talked in a very long time. I think it's been over a year since we talked. But, I mean, it'd be kind of hard for him to talk to me now because I got rid of that app. That app that I have to use to talk to my friend. Or had to use to talk to my friend. I got rid of that because I got a phone and all this stuff. But, and, you know, I wasn't using it anymore. So I might as well let them give the number to someone else. So, this guy. He, we met because he was on drill team with my brother and with myself, and he knew my brother and my sister, and yeah, that was how we met. And, I mean, I remember the first time we met, but I'm not going to delve into that. So, I think that the reason I liked him back then is pretty much because he was a no-nonsense guy, and I liked that. And I don't regret liking him. He was a good person. He is a good person. But, I mean, that's that. I just, looking back at how important everything was to me back then, it's so weird to think about how different it is to me now. Because back then, oh my goodness, this guy, and my friend, and that girl? Mm. That was something that I did in the video. I'm not, I'm not lying, I'm not joking, I did that in the video. Maybe not with the snap, but I was like, mm. Oops, sorry. Um, and so I, I went on watching more and more of my older videos, and just how I was, and I think part of it was that I, was, I wasn't good in front of a camera. I wasn't good at talking in front of a camera. I wasn't good at being myself, period. But it's strange to look at that and realize that I'm, I'm not her anymore. That girl is someone who I don't really know. I don't know, I guess I, I just wanted to talk about that because it's... It's so weird. And my voice, oh my gosh. Like I said, my voice is deeper now and back then it was... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's who I was. I guess the strangest part is that it's not who I am. And I thought that who I am now wasn't that different. Or was it really different at all? Deep down, I, I thought that I hadn't actually changed that much. And I have. Outside and inside. 
outside, not as much as inside, but... I don't know whether I should cry out of sadness or cry out of happiness. <laughs> Back then... I... I didn't like myself. That's why I could never be myself. Now I'm, I'm not fond of myself, honestly, but I like who I am. And I'm always happy to make myself better. And it's like this whole, looking back, this whole chapter of my life closed. It's just closed. There were videos from back then that I guess I deleted because they're not there anymore, but... Maybe it was for the better. You guys are welcome to go watch those videos to see what I'm talking about with that. Um, but I think I'm getting a little too deep here, so I think it's probably time for me to get some rest. I'll probably still make a video tomorrow, which today, but, you know, um, just to, you know, make my video for the day. I just, I really wanted to get this out and talk about that and make fun of myself because I had to make fun of myself. And, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. It's all up to you. Honestly, it is. But, yeah. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And thank you so much for 75 subscribers. Like, I know that's not a lot to a lot of people, but once again, it is so much to me. And it's so much in the past couple of weeks. Like, it just went from boom to boom. And, really, thank you. And... To my friends who are watching, and to you guys, thank you for making me who I am. You're amazing. So stay you, and believe in yourselves. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.